My name's John J O N. My last name's Drux D R U C K S. You need to look at my entire Facebook page. It's my book, Change 2014. It follows Change 2013 and Change 2012, because God knows we need change, and we need change now. August 16th, 2014. Sunset, Venice Beach, California. I just got done driving 5,000 miles. Come back to Venice Beach. And spend my birthday. And I, I spent my birthday carrying my sign, which is my profile picture on Facebook. Carrying my sign. Demand the truth. Starting with 9-11 the wars in the New World Order. One thing leads to another, and I believe they all lead to the death of all of us. I believe we will die if we continue to live the 9-11 lie. Anyone willing to enable to pull off 9-11 in the wars is willing to enable to pull off anything and everything, including the end, at least for us. I believe the mountain of evidence that 9-11 was an inside job is as high as the forgotten Twin Towers once stood. I not only believe 9-11 was an inside job, I believe it was turned into a royal, Nazi, messianic, satanic ritual. And I believe we're living out a script that's a dead ringer to the book of Revelation in the Bible. I'm going to need to walk. There's some people coming up. Again, I, I believe we are living out a royal made script that's a dead ringer to the book of Revelation in the Bible. And it's the end story written jo by John. It is abomination being led into the abomination of desolation? That's the question. We're seventeen and a half trillion dollars in debt. We're on the verge of nuclear World War III, and we don't even know who our president is or where he was born. But if anyone believes all the Goliath problems this nation faces ride with our current so-called president, whoever he is, they don't even know what the royal, Nazi, messianic, satanic problem is. The Goliath problem. This needs to be the story of David and Goliath. And, and the people need to stand up for the truth right now. We're, I believe we're living one big secret covered up line that's ready to blow up in our face just like those forgotten buildings on 9-11. I believe we're reaching the point of no return before we're dust in the wind. But I, I believe my fathers up in heaven are saying, carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. So I'll carry on. You know, I'm spending my 53rd birthday in Venice Beach, carrying my sign, delivering the message. While our royal rulers and so-called leaders can keep secrets and tell us lies, God knows all. And I believe he's seen and heard enough. I believe the message of the Spirit of Truth, John 16:13 is the truth or the end. The truth or the end. Just like that sun's going down. And it's followed with the truth will set us free, John 8, 32. Free at last, free at last. The words of MLK, his dream of a black man in the White House is our nightmare. But, but again, 
is our first black president not part of a script? Is is the first Jesuit pope in the long history of the Catholic Church not part of the script? The end script. Anytime you have a first, it can be the last. We need to stand for the truth now, people. The truth is the word of God. The truth and the people seeking and speaking it are the enemy of this nation. Being ruled under secrets and lies. The truth has been turned into a conspiracy theory. And based on that theory, God's going to become the next enemy in his word, the next conspiracy theory. I believe it's called a Luciferian conspiracy based on Marxist Hegelian logic. Everything we are told is the opposite of our royal rulers and so-called leaders' intentions. When they say love, they mean hate. When they say peace, they mean war. When they say freedom, they mean slavery. And all you have to do is look at this in the world right now. It's all one big secret covered up lie. And you better stand for the truth now. And again, the truth is the word of God. I believe there is a mass conspiracy and a mass cover-up includes the mass media of the destruction of America. I believe the script is delivering on the promise of a new world order by Skulls and Bones, Secret Society member Bush 41. Hitler promised a new world order, and it goes with Skulls and Bones, Bush 41, being the son of Skulls and Bones, Prescott Bush, whose banks were shut down for funding the Nazis in World War II. And he, Skulls and Bones is known as the Brotherhood of Death. Is that, is that our near future? Are we going to be known as the Brotherhood of Death? The Skulls and Bones Bushes and the Skulls and Bones John Kerry are in the bloodline of the royals from across the pond. Imagine that. Again, we allowed the son and the grandson, the royals, of the bankers of Nazis to become our president. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Everything could go wrong. And you just need to look at it. It all makes sense when you look at it. Again, I believe there is a mass conspiracy and a mass cover-up includes the mass media of the destruction of America. And I believe anyone talking about the New World Order is talking about the destruction of America. And the New World Order, it's not a conspiracy theory. It was promised. And again, the truth, the Word of God, is now called the conspiracy theory. And the people seeking and speaking it are the enemy. We're crazy for standing for the truth when this world's all based on secrets and lies. You need to stand for the truth now. It's the Word of God. Again, my name's John, J O N. My last name's Drucks, D R U C K S. You need to look at my entire Facebook page. It's my book, Change 2014. It follows Change 2013 and Change 2012. Because God knows we need change and we need change now. Peace.